Today I'll teach you what is model state dot is valid property and how to use in ispr.net MVC. So let's start. So the very first thing I'll open Solution Explorer and from there I'll be opening the model class. So here I am adding a namespace system dot component model dot data annotations. This particular namespace is required for data annotations. Now inside the class I am adding a property is name which is a string property. As you can see at present I am adding a data annotation required and I am setting the error message for it. This particular data annotation is used for performing required validations. It is very similar to required field validator. So with this our model class is complete. Now let's move to the view. Inside the view I am creating a form using MVC HTML helper method. I am making use of begin form method. It accepts three parameters. The first one is name of the action result method which is index. The second one is name of the controller which is home. And the third one is the type of call. In this scenario it is a post call. Now inside the form. I am creating an HTML table and within the HTML table the very first thing which I am adding is a label element for displaying the label for our text box. So for that I am making use of label for function and I will be binding it to the property. Label for function will simply display the name of the property inside the label element. The next thing I am adding is a text box and for text box I am making use of text box for method that too I am binding with the property. And the third thing which I am adding is the validation message element which will be used to display the validation error message. Here I am making use of validation message for method and I am binding it to the property. Now here you will notice I am adding attribute named class. This is required for setting the CSS class. Now I am adding a submit button and for that I am making use of input element and I am setting the type as submit which when clicked by the user will submit the form to the action result method. Now let's move to the controller. Inside the controller now I am adding an action result method for handling post call. The reason is that I'll be submitting a form. So that form will be submitted to this particular method. I am naming it as index and I am passing the person model class object as parameter. Inside the action method, the state of the submitted model is checked using model state dot is valid property. And if the model is valid, then the value of the name property is set in a view back object. In the end, the view function is written which completes the action result method. Now let's move to the top of the action result method where I'll be adding the HTTP POST attribute. Now again, let's move back to the view. Firstly, I am checking whether the state of the model is valid or not. If the state of the model is valid, then the value of the view bag object will be displayed using razor syntax. So now here I will be displaying a message from controller inside the view. For that purpose, I will be making use of view bag object. View bag allows us to create a dynamic objects. That means we don't have to define the data type. Here I have pasted some CSS classes. This is required for styling the view as well as setting the color for the error message which will be displayed during validation. So with this we are done with our view and we can now run the project and see it in action. As you can see the label, the text box and the button has been rendered and also the validation is working fine. Now I will be adding my name in the text box and I will again submit to see whether it works or not. 
so as you can see when we put value in the text box it is working fine so with this we come to the end of this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye